when you look at the two month year to date, but it all balances out because it's not an exact science with a lot of periodicals being paid out this year in August when they come due. Okay, is there a motion? So move. I'll second. Any discussion? Okay, can we have a roll call? Okay, Trusty Riddle. <coughs> Aye. Trustee Wolf. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Barshes. Yes. Trustee Fisher. Yes. Okay. The next order of business is behind tab number four. Is that right? Skip it. And uh, oh, it's tab number six. Four. Yeah. It's a sixth way through. Okay, it's behind tab number four. And what it is, is basically the policy committee has met three times and behind, uh, and just a brief explanation of each of the policies. We, the bylaws were originally approved by the board on 2-19-19 and reviewed in the December meeting. Some of the changes that have been made to the bylaws, you'll see in red on page two, and it's basically referencing the appendix that details both the power of the Board of Trustees as well as the duties and responsibilities of the trustees. And if you go to appendix 2B and 2C, the the duties have stayed the same, but they've been streamlined to make it a little easier to read and format it under uh, Director Austin to just make it a lot easier to understand what our role is as well as what his role is. Another change that was made from the bylaws that were passed is if you switch to page 16, uh, clarification basically on what the role of committees are, basically saving that the, for clarification that the board shall have special and standing committees to advise, facilitate, and provide focus on board projects and initiatives just to reinforce that all things that start in a committee will eventually end up for the, before the whole board. And then if we look at the sort of a new one is the, poli the policy development was approved on 2-19-19 also, and that's page one of one for the policy development. And the only change is that basically it sets a time parameter for that the staff will review policies no less than every two years, because a lot of times the staff will first review a lot of policies, then it will become before the board, and that the trustees will review and evaluate policies as needed. And I think one of the reasons we hadn't looked at them in some time, and uh, Director Austin thought it would be important that they be more streamlined, more reflective of the Illinois law statute, which we follow. And so that was the reason for that. Also, in terms of library administration for Board of Trustees, if you look at policy two, library administration, it included, in terms of Open, Open Meetings Act, ex, include, in terms of that electronic communication in which proposed board action is discussed that we need to follow the Open Meetings Act. So it's clarification of that, which basically means it's fine to send a notice out like I did about the League of Women Voters legislative uh, review, but not you know, to discuss certain policies. To decide. You could email one, but you don't email the whole body. Okay. Okay. And so that's a little bit more about that one. What is new, there are no changes, is basically the Wilmet Library tr Trustee Ethics Statement, which is Appendix 2D. And that was adopted based on the official, what is it, American AL, what does ALTAFF's ethics statement stand for? Um, From United for Libraries. Yeah. 
Uh, that's the American Library Trustee and Friends and Foundations Organization. Wow. It's, part of, it's a division of the American Library Association, representing yes. the affiliates of libraries. Can you all see that one? Mm -hmm. It's next to the 2D. It's one before the last page before the next section. Mm -hmm. And the only thing, it, the reason we said it was adopted because we made one change, and that was mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, point number five. Uh, trustees in fulfilling their responsibilities shall not be swayed by partisan interest, public pressure, or fear of criticism, and reap to the detriment of the library. You can fear criticism, but as long as it, your goal, our goal is not to harm the library, to do no harm, and hopefully to represent our constituents. Are there any questions? We had three meetings that we discussed it. These were also distributed probably about a month ago with very few changes from that month ago, other than some quirks. If there are any grammatical changes, just send it to Cynthia. It doesn't need to come before the body once approved, but does anyone have anything that they would like further clarification on? Mm -hmm. I have a, just a curi I'm curious about how it went. How did the three meetings go? Was there something that you wanted to discuss more or was it something like oh that doesn't sound right just in general I wasn't at the meetings but if you don't mind just giving me a little bit of a narrative of generally I think the stuff in red was what and there was some little we have we have our grammar te grammarian teacher who <laughs> sort of helps clean up some of the language. the language but I think the goal was just to make it because I at first we saw it and then we went back and we thought about it and we the ethics statement is what we looked at because it was new yeah and we had some discussion on that but there uh, Stuart, you, were, you were there but I don't think there was really anything because it's pretty I think standard. So. standard it was the electronic it was just and a, relevant still yeah, yeah. yeah most right. of to make it language so relevant. sorry to make just it language to, efficient and also to make sure that we had consistent references from one part of the policy to the next that was the main thing so make sure it was, yeah it's cohesive Thank you. And so this is just part one. This was the easier one because it already a lot of the work had already been done in February, so it was cleaning that up a little bit and doing the reference points. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Other questions or points for clarification? Okay. Is there a motion to adopt? No motion to adopt. Do we, do we need to spell it out, each one? No. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You all get out. Okay. So, uh, is there a second? I second it. Okay. Since I was on the second this one. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. You want to do a roll call? Okay. Mm -hmm. Trustee Ritten. Aye. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Barshus. Yes. Trustee Fishman. Yes. Okay. Okay, then we have, I don't really have a report. One of my discussion items is on the potential board development retreat based on trustee interviews and feedback. I wanna think about it. I have one more trustee to interview. And then I know that Trustee Joan was gonna help me with it. Mm -hmm. And then Anthony, you are gonna get an outside person that represents, say what the person represents, because I forget. Okay, so um, I've worked with um, in a, a group called the Executive Service Corps, and they're um, an organization that is a nonprofit that um, helps to coach organizations to be effective. And one of the, the, the services that they provide is um, coaching of um, governing boards. And um, what they would do typically in, in their consulting services would be to come and observe a board meeting, um, to observe our parliamentary procedure, to our, our dynamics about how we interact with one another, how effective are we in running our meetings, are we successfully accomplishing our mission, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they'll take their notes and um, then they'll present a report to us and they'll also facilitate a discussion, um, a retreat of sorts, where we would have a, a separate meeting outside of the context of our, our regular monthly or committee meetings 
um, where we could reflect upon um, some of the learnings that we've gotten from uh, those consultants. And so they have, I've already reached out to the core and uh, they are interested in serving us and would kind of like to know what our timeline is, um, kind of targeting maybe uh, the winter time um, after a lot of our business is done at the end of the calendar year. And um, yeah, so that's kind of, that's in a nutshell where we're at with that right now. But there are also some points that we would like them to cover if they are the appropriate body because a lot of the five that I've talked to, it tends to be how to agree and disagree with civility is one. Also in terms of Robert's rule of orders, which Ron's going to do, and that might be done before they come so that we fine-tuned a little bit bit more. And a lot of it is just, you know, clarification of the role of committee meetings versus what happens in the board and just uh, finding ways to, sometimes there tends to be repetitive discussion that keeps coming up. And so one suggestion from one trustee is that, for instance, the parking, we list the history on the website of all our initiatives for parking, where we are now, so that it's there, it's a reference, we can re refer to it, we can refer up there our constituents to it, but there's some others. So I will be sending that out after I do the final interview, and then we'll brainstorm. Okay? Thank you. And I sent out uh, information to the, about the League of Women Voters event, and if you all can get back, you should have got an email this afternoon, if you can get back to me tomorrow. I've heard from two that are going only because they generally sell out, and it's good. That's why it's not till November, I think. Six. Six, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's at the Wilmette uh, Golf Course, mm -hmm. and it's from 6 to 8.15 or 8.30. And it's a good way to hear and to meet other. What's the date again? November 6th. What day of the week is that? Here, I'll tell you in a minute. I think it's a win. Is it a Wednesday? Wait a minute. I thought it was a like Thursday too, but I, maybe I looked at it too quickly. It's a November. It's Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. Six fifteen to eight fifteen. Six to eight fifteen. Okay. okay. I'm good. Okay. Thank you. So just let us know about tomorrow. That way we can get the reservations. So and I've heard from three. Mm -hmm. you, you, I got it. Okay. 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 That's always that's always a very it's interesting. It's good to hear what's evening. happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think for uh, the advocacy committee, it's good to hear what everybody's doing, and it may help us figure out ways to work together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Okay. Your report. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to attending uh, my first State of the Village meeting as well, so I will mm -hmm. be there along with you all. Um, okay, so the next item on our agenda is the Director's Report, and you'll find that behind tab six. Um, in addition to my monthly report, um, as always, we have our statistical information and our community outreach uh, reports. and. Um, uh, as Andrea referenced in her presentation, that there's a supplemental document in there that's a, a three-page summary of um, our summer reading program. So um, if, you, if you want clarification and some of the numbers that she was referring to, um, Andrea's report is, is right behind mine. Um, in continuing with what we were d discussing last month, I've got more uh, strategic plan updates for us in terms of our activity with outreach, um, our growing collection of Library of Things, um, as well as our, um, our continued efforts to create uh, inter intergenerational programming. So that's um, what the first portion of the report covers. Um, if you've got any questions at any point, do feel free to interrupt me as I'm going through here, because I could, I could yak about everything in the content of this report and, and anything else that you would like all night. Um, and since our agenda is fairly light, I may have a tendency to drag on a little bit. So, <laughs> um, so rein me in if I need to. Um, in terms of the collection, um, as usual, um, our technical services department has provided us with some statistics about our in and out. Um, I would just reiterate again that 
Um, our library has a fixed amount of shelf space and our collections continue to grow and have, um, and we want to keep our collections um, of immediate interest to our community. Um, we are part of a consortium and we serve a, lar a large area uh, as well as our constituents, uh, but our collection needs to directly reflect um, the needs of our immediate community and that is why um, we continually maintain our collection as though it were a garden. In fact, we use the phrase weeding when we are um, going through our collection and pruning out the materials that don't circulate as well as maybe what they once did um, or those things that are damaged and perhaps need to be replaced. So over the course of the summer, um, we've had an awful lot of activity with collection maintenance and that's um, been reflected again in this month's report. Um, we've been making room for new materials and, and clearing out older ones. Um, related to that um, discussion, one of the big activities that staff has been working on in this past month is um, we have a compact shelving system in our lower level which houses a large um, archive of um, old periodicals. And the periodicals um, have not really been studied at, at great depth in terms of their, their utility. Many of those have been digitized and are available in much more accessible, in fact remotely accessible uh, manners. Um, and as we're finding that we don't have as much shelf space as maybe we once did or needed, um, we need to clear off some of that space to make room for more materials um, in storage. So we've been going through and systematically reviewing the content of our periodicals collection in compact shelving, and we're starting to make some changes there uh, to move out things that are no longer of need in the community. Um, concurrent with that, as I mentioned as, uh, at last month's meeting, we are